and welcome to another instrument choice support video. In this video, we'll show you how to clean a weather station using the Davis Vantage View as an example. You will need water for rinsing, water with a mild detergent, a cloth, a clean toothbrush and or some cotton buds and the station's Allen key. As you can see, this station has a fair amount of built up dust. We'll start by removing the anemometer and wind vane. Using a mild detergent, wipe away any dirt or insect webbing from inside the cups. Then rinse thoroughly with clean water. The vein isn't too dirty, so here we will just give it a wipe down. Put the items in a safe place to dry. Give the anemometer shaft a clean. Any dust built up here could restrict the cup's movement. Rinse with water. Do not apply any grease, oil or lubricant of any kind. Using a damp cloth, just wipe over the device to remove any excess dust. The radiation shield very rarely needs any cleaning, unless it is filled with dust, debris or insects, which in this case it has. Generally, you can take a dry, clean toothbrush and or cotton buds to remove the dust from the shield. If you need to take it apart, remove the screws at the base of the shield. It's hard to see in the video, but there is a significant amount of insect webbing around the sensor. Use a toothbrush or cotton buds to gently brush these away. Clean the plates with water and a mild detergent, then rinse thoroughly with clean water. Once the shield plates have been cleaned, put aside somewhere safe to dry. Last of all, it's time to clean the rain collector. This should be done several times a year. Start by removing the debris screen from the cone and clean out anything caught in it. Then remove the rain spoon housing assembly by unscrewing it. You can see there's quite a large amount of dust built up within the spoon. This could easily cause rain reading errors. Use a toothbrush or the cotton buds to remove dust from inside the spoon, as well as anything blocking the drainage holes below the spoon. Rinse in water. Then put it aside somewhere safe to dry. Last of all, I like to give the sensor one last wipe over and check for any insects hiding on the device. Now 
Now that everything is clean and it has been left to dry completely, it can be reassembled. Stack the radiation shield and insert the screws. This makes it much easier to screw back into place. Reattach the tipping bucket mechanism, slot the wider end in first, then the narrow end, then screw them into place. Reinsert the debris filter, this will just click into place. Reinstall the wind cups and wind vane, use the Allen key to tighten. And then it's good as new. And that's how easy it is to clean and maintain your weather station. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.